Hello, my name is um, Will. I am an engineering student and a nerd. So, this is actually my first attempt at a uh, YouTube video. Uh, the other day, I was watching this video right here by Scologram, and he was talking about wrist mounted co uh, crossbows. And at one point, he mentions the work done by the bow. Now, what he was saying is that the work done is the force that you apply to the string times the distance that it travels. Now, force times distance is normally um, is normally work, but with a bow, what you really have, I'll, we'll just go back here and take a look at this, because it really works well. Um, with a bow, what you actually have is a spring. The arms act as a spring, and um, so force times distance doesn't give you the actual work, because different amounts of force act cause the uh, string to travel different lengths. Um, think of it like this. Say right here we have the bow in a neutral position. If you were to take a 10 pound weight and hang it from the string like that, it would pull down so far. Now if you took a 20 pound weight and hung it from there, it would hang down twice as far. All right, and this is um, how you get force of the spring. So Let's take a look here, make a giant text box for me. Force of the spring is equal to displacement times k. Now k is a spring constant that is unique for every spring. And the only way to figure out what k is, is you have to uh, find it experimentally. So anybody who has a bow, I don't have one, otherwise I would try this. Um, well, let's. You would um, do just like I said, and hang a some sort of weight from a known mass, or uh, of a known mass, and see how far down from a neutral position it travels. So let's see. We're doing a little bit of algebra right here. Um, your k would be the force, which would be the weight, divided by the displacement, and that'll give you what your um, what your spring constant is. All right, so why do we care about the spring constant? To figure out the work done, we need to know what the spring constant is. Work is defined as the accumulation of force over a distance. So right here we have your force, which is distance times k. Okay, so to get the accumulation of force, which is work, we have the integral of that, one half displacement squared times k. <coughs> okay, so now we have the work of the bow, or correctly, the work that the bow does on the arrow. So, there is a, a theorem called the uh, work kinetic energy theorem or something like that, but it states that the work done on an object is equal to the change in kinetic energy. So the work that the bow does is the kinetic energy of the arrow as it leaves the bow. And, you know, if you look at this equation right here, it really makes a lot of sense because let's imagine that X right here is your full draw length, whatever it is, 30 inches, 36 inches. Now, most bowmen will tell you that if you do not get the full draw length of a bow, that you're not going to get anywhere near the power that it could have. If you reduce that draw length by just a couple of inches, because this number right here gets squared, it greatly reduces the power of that bow, or of that uh, arrow as it's leaving. So, let's take a look really quick at kinetic energy, which is one half mass times velocity squared and keeping in mind that the work done by the bow is going to be equal to the kinetic energy as it leaves the bow so we could find out the velocity of the arrow as it's leaving the bow just by rearranging this equation um, which would be let's see how to do this on here Velocity would be equal to kinetic energy times mass 
times 2 to the 1 half power. Which to the 1 half power like that just means to the square root. Now, I don't have a bow. Uh, I would like to perform this experiment. If anybody has a bow out there and they like to hang some weights from it and get some numbers, I would gladly run through them. And I'd be very interested to see if I can get the velocity, the, uh, the theoretical velocity, close to what the actual velocity is of the uh, bow. Um, you know, thanks for viewing. This is my first time, and I hope I didn't, you know, flub it up too much there.